What is up, football world? Man, I hope you enjoyed the first two match days of the brand new Nations League. Because personally, I kind of like them. As I mentioned in my last video, uh, today I'm going to be talking about the predictions I made then and um, look a little bit at current standings, at the results in the first two match days, and look ahead a little bit. The most notable matches in the first two match days were as follows. In League A, the last two world champions, France and Germany, uh, had a real boring battle in Munich. In uh, League C, Norway beat Cyprus 2-0, which is really not bad. Serbia beat Lithuania away only 1-0, which was a really hard victory, uh, considering the fact that the only goal they scored was through a penalty. In the same league, Finland beat Hungary 1-0. <laughs> In League D, Luxembourg crushed Moldova 4-0. Again in League A, England were beaten home by Spain 2-1. And I only have one thing to say about that, it, and it's that the Nations League won't come home. Back in League D, Liechtenstein beat Gibraltar with 2-0, which is their astonishing 12th win in 178 matches. Good luck. In the same elite group of the Nations League, Kosovo beat the Faroe Islands 2-0, which is their 6th uh, win in 17 matches since they have been recognized by FIFA. Just one league above, in League C, Serbia drew 2-2 home against Romania, which was a really hard walking match and it was really enjoyable. Continuing our way up to League B, Turkey beat Sweden 3-2 uh, away which was a dramatic turnaround and probably saved at the job the Turkish national team coach, uh, Mircea Lucescu. Back to Group D, Luxembourg smashed San Marino 3-0 away, which is a confirmation of their elevation. That ran. Which means we will see them up to League B, I hope, in the next couple of years, if not League A. Back to the League C, Hungary smashed Greece 2-1 at home, which kind of confirmed the decline of Greece in the last couple of years. Back to the top, in Group A, Spain smashed Croatia, the World Cup finalist Croatia, 6-0. Damn. And standing in uh, the top flight, Iceland were smashed 3-0 at home by Belgium. Which is either the start of the decline for Iceland or just the continuing good form of Belgium. Now to the group standings. In League A, Group 1, we got France, Germany and Netherlands which I had correct, because I, I really said that France would have the first chance, but it uh, actually could be either one of them. In Group 2 of League A, we got uh, Switzerland, Belgium and Iceland. And I almost got that correct, because I said that Belgium would be uh, the first one, but there, are, uh, there still are some matches left, so we'll see. In Group 3, in Group number 3, we got um, Portugal, Poland and Italy, which I got correct that Portugal would be first, be, being European champions, but I... Oh, oh Italy. And in Group 4, we obviously got Spain, then England and Croatia, which I already said it could be either one of them to go top. But I guess it's a good thing that Spain is on top, because they maybe can begin a new domination. Now to the League B. In Group 1 of League B, we got Ukraine, Czech Republic and Slovakia. And again, I said it could be anyone, so it's hard to predict. In the second group, um, on top, we have the former Soviets, Russia, Turkey and Sweden. Which I got right, so yay! The Group 3 leaders are, surprisingly, Bosnia, um, then Northern Ireland and Austria. Ooh. And I almost got it right because I said Northern Ireland, but I guess Jekyll had something against it. And in the last group of League B, we got uh, Denmark in first place, then Wales and the Republic of Ireland, which I almost got correct again, because I hoped that Gareth Bale and his team would be on top. But now we got to the most important league of them all. League C. In Group 1 we got Scotland, Albania and Israel, which I got right, because let's be honest, Scotland, they are just... They are head to head with England, always. In the second group, Finland are on top of it, uh, then Greece, Hungary and Estonia. And I predicted Greece, but, you know, 
I just hope Hungary doesn't win it. In group 3 I got completely wrong because on first place we have Bulgaria, then uh, Norway, Cyprus and Slovenia. And yeah, you heard it. Slovenia is on last place, which I predicted would be on top of the group. Damn. In the last group of League C, we sadly got Montenegro in first, Serbia in second, Romania in third, and Lithuania in last. But, um, you know, Montenegro got lucky. Let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still there with my prediction that Romania will win that. In League D, we got first group. Georgia, Latvia, Andorra, and Kazakhstan. And again, I got it completely wrong because I really hope, I mean, I didn't hope, but I predicted that Kazakhstan would top it, but you know, there's still time. And group two, there is Luxembourg in first, Belarus, Moldova, and San Marino. And I'm you know, I mentioned that a couple of times, it's pretty obvious that Luxembourg would top that group, but I really, really hope that Moldova will do a little better. The second last group, <coughs> we got Kosovo in first, which is amazing, and uh, Faroe Islands, Azerbaijan, and Malta. Well, I predict Azerbaijan, but I really feel happy for Kosovo because they're such a small nation and they uh, got to do so much. In the last group, uh, on first place we got that controversial uh, country name I'm not going to pronounce then Liechtenstein, Armenia and Gibraltar and I I got that right finally <laughs> um yeah that's pretty much it for today's video guys um, thank you for watching and keep on uh, watching the Nations League of course and uh, leave a comment which team you want to win next and be the top of the group and you know all that leave a comment like it share subscribe all that good stuff really means a lot to me. So yeah, see you next time.